Destined. Destined. Right. Destiny! That's what it is. It's destiny. <laughs> so my my middle name actually really is Monet. A lot of people ask me that question. And I'm lucky enough to have an art collector father and an artist mother. And I can remember going to the Art Institute when I was really young and they were teaching me who Monet the painter was. And there's no doubt when I came home that day that I signed my full name over and over and over again and have done so since that day. So I guess it's destiny that I end up being a painter. What do I love about painting? Honestly, I really love being alone in my studio with my, <clears throat> with my music painting. It's by far what is most rewarding. It's the quietest place um, that I can, I can get to. I mean, there's like, you know, there's so much anxiety that goes into, you know, the thought of starting a painting and the process of actually doing the painting, but it's not, it's not an anxiety that like makes you anxious. I mean, anxiety is probably even the wrong word. It's a struggle of just like accepting that what you just did is what you did and that the next thing or the next stroke or the next paint color you choose is the right one. And so it's like this, it's this sort of, it's a struggle of like acceptance, which I guess is so parallel to life, you know? Everything you do, you have to, you have to accept. You know, the most important thing in my studio is a picture of my grandmother that Dr. Scholl, Dr. Scholl's, I think it is, but Dr. His wife um, painted it, and it's a portrait of my grandmother, and um, they lived across the street from her, and it's probably 40 or 50 years old. And one day I was at my grandma's house visiting, and it was uh, it was headed to the dumpster, and I grabbed it and. I've had it with me, and I always keep it in my studio. If, uh, if the whole house was on fire, I'd grab that painting and run out with it. Uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. I love this thing. This is really cool. This girl who made this drawing, this is my portrait. This, I think she was probably four years old. And I, this is me riding some animal. And I love that there's all these like cuckoo birds coming out of my head because it's like little four year old like she like vibed who I was and this is <laughs> this is what she made. <laughs> so I've been working on this elephant series for about the last year and this is a 16 piece jigsaw puzzle. It's actually made out of wood, um, MDF, and these all down here are elephants that are halfway complete. And I'm going to do a little bit something, I think I'm going to do something different with the bottom half of these. That's why I haven't, I haven't set them up yet. And I basically pour resin on them when I'm done and um, you know, it becomes one big piece. Honestly, I love the connection with the, the collector, with the person that buys the painting. I feel like this kinship with them and um, I keep in touch with them and it, for me, it's, it's one of the most gratifying parts of, of painting is meeting all these really interesting people and uh, I love it. it keep, that's another thing that sort of keeps coming, keeps me coming back to the canvas. I paint for peace of mind and the fact that you know people buy the paintings is a pretty great bonus to it. It's still I feel astounded every time somebody pays me for for the painting but then again sometimes I think oh god it was like giving birth to that thing I should get paid it's it's oh, it's harder to find inspiration you know I think you sort of look for muses that like aren't muses that get you into trouble you know or you know just something that that gives you feeling I think a painter who paints without feeling I think the paintings don't sell and for me, I think I had a whole lot of feeling back back then, the last couple of years, and uh, I've been on a pretty good roll. Bam! Okay. <laughs>